right. We're going to warm up first and then see where we go. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread them out, sitting bones down, shoulders back and down. Get those core activated, so ribs toward your spine and up, so you feel that elongation and that activation. Arms relaxed. Just take a moment to focus inward and breathe. And then inhale and bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows a little back. Stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then hands behind you, fingertips clasp, and lift your heart. Pivot at your hips as you exhale, come on over and relax. The sitting bones up, hands toward your head, and move your head around and let your neck release. And then bend your knees a little bit, lift your ribs, sitting bones down, keep your chin in as you wind up from the bottom all the way to the top of your spine, and lift your heart. Head back just slightly, a little upper body back bend, and breathe. And then on an inhalation, come on up, release your arms, take a moment to feel that circulation in the crease. And again, same thing, reach out through the fingertips, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, and then hands behind you, clasp your fingers and lift your heart, stretch it back, and pivot at your hips, exhaling, coming over. Spread your toes, lift your arms toward your head, move your head around, let that neck release a little bit more. Lift the sitting bones, get a stretch on the back of your legs, and then bend the knees and wind from the bottom back all the way to the top. Heart high and head back through that upper body back bend. Lift the chest. And again, inhale upright, releasing and feel circulation increase. We'll work the sides, keep one hand down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, get a good stretch, and lean, no twist, over to the side. So feel those ribs stretch apart through those intercostal muscles. Breathe out, reach your head toward your fingers. And then slide back up and release. Feel that side a little bit more activated than the other, so balance. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push them away and feel the ribs expand. Push the foot you're leaning away from down if you love that extra. Out through the fingertips, through the top of your head. Keep that hand sliding down toward your knee. And then again, inhale to the top and release. And again, just feel those ribs a little bit expanded. I will twist, so remember, really stretch your spine apart for this one. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, stretch apart, and twist either direction. Weight on both feet evenly as you stretch up, and keep the weight even as you exhale over. Just as deep into that forward position as you want to go. Keep breathing, lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more, and then work your way slowly up in the twist, keeping your arms next to your ears, chest high, elbows back, shoulders down, and a nice upper body back bend. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, hold them next to your ears, stretch out through the top of your head, and twist your Another breath in, and as you exhale, come on over. Take a moment to breathe. Just relax there. Keep the weight on both sides as evenly as you can. Inhale, coming slowly back up. And again, heart high, elbows back, shoulders down, upper body back bend. Remember, always gentle on your low back when it's just Inhale up. Exhale around to the center, arms up, extended mountain. So keep your shoulders, shoulder blades down, ribs in and up, 
crown to the ceiling, fingertips reaching high. And then that swan dive, pivot forward from the hips, and then just drop all the way down into your leg. Arms just relaxed, head moving around. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want that extra stretch. And that arms back to the front and wind up one more time slowly to the top, shoulders back and down and into mountain pose. So feel your body, notice the spine especially. Check your feet, make sure they're both straight ahead and find your favorite balance, but we need to do our balance. So lift the toes, spread them out as you put them back down. Remember the base of the toes, no gripping, so that we keep the base of the toes really connected. Lift that arch with the whole bottom of your foot aligned. So knee going toward that second toe, hip right above it, shoulder right above it, sink into that rounded foot. Or activate it, so ribs toward your spine and up, crown to the ceiling. When you're ready, that other foot comes up. So remember, a little roll in so that the foot doesn't cross over. Pull it up however far you want. Pull in, underneath, or just let it hang. And then work your ankle. So circles both ways. Flex and point. And release. Shift what work to the other side. Check that alignment. The alignment is really important. The core activation also, the lengthening through your whole body with those base of the toes really connected, sitting bones toward the floor. Let that spine be supported. Bring the other foot up when you're ready. And again, make sure that's not crossing over. And when you're ready and stable, work your ankle. Like some point to straighten it out and release. Sink back into both feet evenly. Take a moment to breathe. And then bring your hands behind onto your lower ribs, fingertips toward your waist, and then pull your elbows away toward each other so you're really feeling that chest expansion. And then keep your hips right above your ankles. And rotate, looking up, push your head slightly back. Just get a good stretch through the whole front of your body. If your hip flexors are being a little bit overactivated because you've injured them standing, be careful. And breathe. And then chin toward your chest and come on back up. Release your arms. Just feel a little bit more through that spine. And then angle your toes out just a little bit. Bend your knees toward your toes, shoulders right above your knees and toes, hands above your knees to position. And we'll do our pelvic tilts. So push the sitting bones back and the chest forward, coming into your back bend. And then keeping your shoulders, knees, and toes lined up, just pull those ribs back and round forward into the floor. So the torso is moving, the pelvis is moving, the sitting bones stick down and forward, and then push back. And we're working just that torso and hip pelvis area, keeping everything else nicely lined up. Take a breath each time, exhaling as you pull those ribs back, inhaling as you let that diaphragm expand. And then the next time you're forward, just pause and come on back up and into that pose. Take a moment just feeling that circulation a little bit more energized through that whole torso area. And don't forget to breathe. Hands to your heart, look at them, and inhale them toward the ceiling. Keep looking at your thumbs, come into that upper body back, bend, lifting your heart, pull the thumbs back, keep looking. So you can go into as much of a back bend as you want or not, always a personal practice. And then exhaling, bring the hands to your heart, 
pivot on over, drop down into ragdoll, just lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin, breathe, slide your hands up under your knees, press in and get everything nice and straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Exhale back down into ragdoll, palms together, inhaling again to your heart, continue on up toward the ceiling, Looking at your hands, do your back bend as much as you'd like. And then again, as you exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, all the way down. Hands up, sliding under your knees, straighten it out in that halfway up stretch. Exhale back in the ragdoll and come on all the way to the mat into child's pose for our transition. Hands, palms up at your feet, forehead toward the floor. Just relax. Knees apart if you want to breathe more easily. Together if you like that stretch through your low back. Take a few moments to release any tension. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels. So let's put the hands next to your feet, fingertips toward your knees. And just lift your heart again, a little bit of an upper body back bend. So head going straight back, up sinking down into your heels, chest lifting toward the ceiling. And then exhaling, chin back toward your chest and release back to a kneeling position. So if this is hard on your ankles, remember you can always move them around, tuck your toes under if that's better for you. So bring your hands behind and clasp them. Press the hands toward the floor again, lifting your heart. And then exhale, bring your hands up and your head down. Yoga mudra, coming forehead toward the floor as far as it wants to go. If your hips want to lift up a little bit, that's okay. Go as far as you want to go. Hands toward your head, head toward the floor. Just breathe. And then inhaling, bring your face forward, crown up, hands back down toward your feet, and release back to your kneeling position. Take a moment there, just feel what's going on through that upper heart area after we went a little bit forward bend with it. Now we're going to do the same thing, clasping the opposite way. So hands behind, other finger outside, and again, press the hands toward the floor, look up, chest high. Exhale, pivot over, bring that chin in, forehead down toward the floor, hands up toward the ceiling. And again, as far as you want to go, you can keep those hands moving toward your head if you like that shoulder work, but don't go too far. And again, you can lift your hips up off your heels if that's more comfortable for your legs. And again, as you breathe, just relax. And then once more, face forward, crown up, hands coming down toward your feet, sitting back up, and into your kneeling position. Take a moment, just feel right across that upper heart area, upper back, shoulder right area, a little bit more stimulated. We're gonna do a supported camp. So we're going to come up on your knees. If you need to have a little extra padding, put a pillow or your folded mat under your knees to come up so that you've got some pad under your knees if that's something important for you. Toes either straight back or a little bit toward each other. Hands on your lower back. So heels of your palms about rib area, shoulder blade area, and then pull your elbows toward each other and lift your heart as you push your head back. So you're coming into, again, that heart area, back bend in your upper body. Take a moment to breathe, only go as far as you'd like. And then chin toward your chest, releasing, hands releasing. And again, just sink back down. And one more child's pose, going the opposite direction. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhale, sitting back up. We're going to do a couple more camels, and each time it will be a little bit more intense. 
So if that supported camel version was the best one for you, stick with it. You never have to go further than that version with your hands on your back. So coming back up, knees above your hips, hands on your back, shoulders relaxed down, elbows toward each other, come into your supported version, lifting your heart, looking up. Don't pull your chin too high toward the ceiling. Push your head a little bit straight back, rather. And then stay there, or if you want to, tuck your toes under to bring your heels up a little bit. And then one hand goes back to your heel, and then back to your back. And then the other hand goes back to your heel, and back to your back. And if you want to, you can do both hands to your heels, and lift your heart, stretch your head back, or stay in that supported version. Lift your heart either way. And then if your hands are back on your heels, bring them back to your back. And again, chin towards your chest, slide your feet down, sink back on your heels and into child's pose and get a good forward bend stretch to counteract the back. Take a moment, just breathe. And then inhale in, sit up. We're gonna do one more version if you are ready to. And again, you can stay in the supported version rather than going further. You can go into the toes tucked under, raising your heel, which makes it a little bit easier to reach your heels, or you can keep your feet flat as we do this version. So whichever one is right for you, remember personal practice, don't go too far, just do what's appropriate. Hands on your back, supported, elbows toward each other, lifting your heart. Get a nice back bend, chin a little toward your chest, head reaching back, stay there. Tuck your toes under if you want, or just reach one hand back for your heel, and then back onto your back. And then the other hand back, reaching for your heel. Keep that chest lifting. Keep those shoulders as even as you can. And then back to your back. And if you want, just stay there supported. Or you can go into the full camel. See if you can keep your hips above your knees, your heart lifting toward the ceiling. Chin again a little toward your chest. Stretch your head back. Keep breathing. And then hands again toward your back, support, exhale, pivot over, and again, all the way into a nice forward bend to counteract all that back bend. Take a moment to breathe. And then inhale, sit up. If you've got your mat, fold it under, straighten it back out. And bring your legs up to the front. Take a moment in staff position, ribs in and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, core active. We're just gonna roll back onto our backs. If you need to bend your knees to do that, that's okay too. And just relax a little reclined integration, feel your body, exhale tension. And then sitting bones towards your heels, press your back down, bend your knees, bring those heels in right next to your hips, knees straight up. So remember a little rolling at the top of your thighs if that's important to align your body. Press your back down. We'll just do a few little back strengtheners. So rotate your sitting bones toward the floor, arching up, lifting the ribs. So from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones, there's a little back bend with that space under your back. And then exhale, core pulling down as you slide those sitting bones toward your heels, get your whole back down and that core pressing into the floor. And remember, as fast or as slow as you like, inhaling, pulling up with those ribs, give a nice space. Exhale and pulling down, pushing all that air out as you ever connect. Just a couple more times. So this is 
Turning your core, strengthening your spine. And then just come back to neutral. Take a moment. Relax your shoulders, shoulder blades down. Hands next to you, palms down. We're going to go up into a little bridge. So remember, gentle with your knee to on those hip flexors as we go up. Don't go too far and overstretch them. So press your back down as you exhale. Lift your hip bones up and come onto your shoulder blades. Press into your feet. Press into your arms and hands and move up onto the tops of your shoulders. Lift your ribs as much as you'd like and keep those hips even. So a little back bend, not too much. Then just allow your shoulders to support you. And then exhaling, release the shoulders, shoulder blades, lower ribs, spine, everything back to the floor. So take a moment there, just breathe, relax, and exhale tension. So we're going to go a little further with a bridge. So remember, do what's right for your body only. Press your back down, hands pressed, palms down, sitting bones moving towards your heels, and then lift the hip bones up toward the ceiling. Again, coming onto your shoulders. Come up as high onto your shoulders as you want to. Press into both feet evenly. Make sure those knees are straight up, not spreading apart. And then lift one foot off the floor and straighten that way. Get the thighs parallel to each other. Stay there or bring the foot straight up toward the ceiling. Your choice. Keep lifting both hips evenly. Keep pressing into your arms and shoulders. And then bring that leg back down parallel. And then foot to the floor. Release the shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way to the floor. Feel your body as you get all the way back into that neutral position. Take a moment and breathe. And yeah, you've got to balance the body and do that other side. So again, hands down next to you, shoulders, shoulder blades down, press your spine all the way down, get it really connected. And when you're ready, inhale those hip bones straight up as far as they want to go up onto your shoulders as high as you'd like, keep lifting the ribs. Keep breathing, check to make sure those knees aren't spreading apart. Stay there or bring one, the other foot up. Again, start parallel, stay there if you want to, or you can bring the legs straight up if that works for your body. Keep lifting both hips, you want them even, you want support on evenly on both shoulders as well. And then bringing that leg back parallel, and bend the knee, foot to the floor, release the shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way down. Take a moment. Exhale, tension, slide those sitting bones towards your heels a little more, bring your knees up towards your heart, and get a little forward bend. You can bring your forehead up towards your knees if you like it, and get a good stretch through the whole back of your body. And then head down, hands down, and feet back to the floor. Bring your hands to T position. Either palms down or palms up, your choice for our final twist. So again, press the spine down, lift your feet off the floor, knees right above your hips, and roll them to one side, turning your head toward that opposite arm. Remember, feet to the floor, a little support or pushing under your knees if that's important for your spine. Lower back twist with that knee area coming toward the floor. Head turning, neck shoulder area twist. And of course, shoulders and shoulder blades down for that middle back twist. Go as far as you like. If you're wanting a little bit more in that lower back today, you can bring your knees up toward your elbow and get a little bit more stretch through the lower back. Take a moment and breathe. Relaxing. And then when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. 
bring your feet to the floor if you need to straighten things out before we do the second side. So again, press the back down. Bring your feet up off the floor. And knees right above your hips, roll straight over to the side. Turn your arm, your head to that arm behind you, and relax. And again, go as far for your body as you want. Knees toward the floor or not. Lower that twist. Bring your knees toward the elbow if you like the extra or don't. Always personal practice with your twists, especially in your yoga practice. And turn, remember that's the neck area. Be gentle there if you need to. Don't forget to breathe. Keep those shoulders down. Maximize or minimize your twist. Do what's right for you. And to release, always heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back. Bring your feet to the mat. And slide out, getting ready for a relaxation. Hands, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Feet slightly separated, maybe straight up or a little bit to the sides. And then just exhale and let your body sink into that surface beneath you. And deep breath in. Exhale. All the tension out. And just scan through your body. Lots of hip and torso action today. So just allow your shoulders, shoulder blades, core, everything to release and relax. Hips relaxed, belly moving, everything just soft. Let your body just grow heavier as it sinks deeper into that earth support. Just let your awareness release the tension from your body, letting it just completely relax. And as your body relaxes, remember it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. As you let those thoughts of your body go, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them go as well. There's no need to remember the past, no need to anticipate the future. No need to think about your body. No need to contemplate anything else. Just let those thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Let your body release and relax deep into that earth embrace. Let your mind just flip freely, thoughts drifting away without attention. And just let your awareness release your body and your mind. Focus inward, find that peace within. Fill your mind with the peace. Fill your body with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace. If you have time to keep relaxing the day, stay relaxed as long as you can. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to your breath, to the room. 
As you breathe more freely and deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you to do it. Moving your feet, ankles, legs, arms, and hands. As you breathe more deeply, give yourself a good stretch when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. Once again, sitting down towards your heels with your back slightly down. Bring your heels toward your hips and then your knees toward your heart. Give yourself a wrap around with your arms. Let your body know you appreciate the yoga and what your body does for you in yoga, as well as what your body does for you every day. Just a nice appreciative yoga hug. And when you've had enough of your yoga hug, just release feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready, whatever's ahead. For the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.